few props, allowing ourselves to just sink in to the body, become aware of the breath. Hello. So you can grab a. Oh, is it rain? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, it's raining hard. A blanket. <laughs> Holy schmoly, Matt Ben. And if you don't have those things, that's okay. You can just lay flat on the back. I'm going to be propping myself up for optimal restoration. So once you have those things gathered, I've stacked the pillows one on top of the other with a little extra room for my head, or a little extra um, elevation for my head. Blanket roll for under the knees. And then I'm also keeping a strap nearby if you have a um, back or a uh, dish towel or a scarf or a belt if you don't have a strap, um, those could work in its place. We'll use that when we're um, out of this restorative pose. So begin to set up your sacrum will come toward the bottom of most pillow. Set up the blanket so that it is under the knees. Allow yourself to lay back. Make sure the head is supported here. It's not hanging off the back of the pillow. And when you lay down, you may yawn. <laughs> That's okay. And let yourself arrive here. You can rotate the wrists and ankles. And just kind of uh, move the body, maybe the hips just settle in. Give yourself a big stretch here, arms overhead. And then arms can come back to your All right, man. Palms are face up or face down. <laughs> Close down the eyes. And make the gaze low. We'll start with a simple body scan this morning. See if you can relax the muscles in the pelvic floor. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Fill the belly with air. And then sigh out the mouth. that one more time. And then bring your attention to the crown of the head. Relax the crown of the head. Almost like the crown is melting toward the floor. Relax and bring the attention to the forehead. Similarly, you're relaxing through the center of the forehead and then down to the temples on either side of the face. Bringing the awareness to the right eye, softening through the right eye, and then the left. Allow your awareness to come to the bridge of your nose, follow the slope of the nose down to the nostrils. Simply notice the breath moving in and out of the nose. And as you breathe, see if you can move the air from breathing in the chest to breathing gently from the belly. Soften through the mouth and the jaw. Bring the attention to the chin. Mm. 
soften through the neck. First the front of the neck, and then the back of the neck. Relax the left shoulder, then the right shoulder. Become aware of the left upper arm. The elbow crease and elbow on the left arm. Forearm. Left hand. And all the fingers. Allow them to relax and hang heavy on the floor. Moving to the right upper arm. Starting with the bicep and tricep area. Allow the arm to be heavy. Move the attention to the elbow crease and the elbow. And then the right forearm. Followed by the hand. Heavy on the floor. Draw your awareness to each finger on that hand. Okay. Re relax the face. And the red box is where? And then bring the attention to the sternum. Already by the bot by the yeah. Just got to put the jars in. Yeah. Oh, you did. I just said I put the jars in. Okay, I thought you said you put the I heard you put the jars out. Moving out in the red bin. Okay, cool. Thank you. The solar plexus, the space <laughs> between the, the belly button and the heart. Containers now. The bridge of the ribs. Thanks, Drew. I'm sure, I like all the water going yes. in there. <laughs> nice little. I'm sure, some of that. Uh, probably drain. It didn't. If there's about. No, I mean in their truck. Oh, sure. Well, they probably get so much crap in there. Hopefully, they won't charge me 75 bucks for having water. They say, I can't pick it up. The truck can't pick it up. It's too heavy. Yeah. Hair. Bags. <laughs> yeah, man. the pelvic floor. Relax the muscles in the pelvic floor. Feel the sit bones and the butt on the floor. Taking the awareness down the right leg, first with the thigh. Relax through the right knee, right calf, ankle, and finally the heel and the foot. Foot resting heavy. Draw the awareness to each toe on the right foot. Run your crew. Moving to the thigh. Allow the thigh to be heavy. Allow the knee to be heavy. Both the kneecap and the knee crease behind the thigh. Attention comes to the calf. And the heat, the ankle of the left foot, followed by the heel, the whole foot, become aware of each toe on the left foot. <laughs> Take just a little bit of time. No 
no problem. Scan your body from top to bottom, letting you know I'm moving a little quicker. Oh. Keeping my two step in the loop. Allow the awareness. We're good. It's like you're separate from Ooh. the body that's lying on the floor. Allow the awareness to move from the top to the bottom. No thanks. I'm going to bend my knees yep. and just roll to my side, press up with the hands, and then you'll remove one pillow if you've got both. I'm going to place a pillow horizontally under my back. I'm oh, sorry, I mean under the um, sacrum or lower back. You can remove the blanket roll. <clears throat> Come to laying on the back once more. You can move the pillow down a bit. It should you should feel like your sacrum is in the center of the pillow. Then let the knees come up to the chest. Hug the knees in, being a little supported by your pillow here. You can rock gently from side to side. Maybe the head will come up toward the knees, make yourself into a little ball. And then let the knees fall to the right. You can shift your hips a little to the left, moving into a supported twist. Ground down through both shoulder blades. You could use the top hand on the top leg, or sorry, the right hand on the top leg as you twist for an added counterweight. Maybe gaze comes to the left. Relax through the neck. <sighs> Inhale, bringing the knees back to center. Shift the hips to the opposite side. Twisting in the opposite direction. Relax the neck, change the gaze, ground through the shoulder blades. Notice what you're holding on to here, if anything. Physical, mental, emotional. See if you can let one thing go. Simply allow it to soften. Come 
back to center. Lift off the pillow. Moving through a couple of dynamic bridges. Feet are in halfway, arms at your side. Lift all the toes, spread them out, and then press them into the ground. Press the left foot firmly into the ground, each corner of the foot. And then do the same with the right. Pressing from the big toe pad down to the pinky, to the ball and heel of the foot. Pressing down. And then ground equally through both heels and press through the toes as you lift the hips and then lift the arms. You'll begin to move with your breath, inhaling or exhaling up, inhaling or exhaling down. Keeping your knees in the same plane with each other, taking care to make your feet parallel. Waking up the spine. Yeah, man. Sure you don't I'm positive. I'll wait for Din Din. As slowly or as quickly as you'd like. Yeah. See if you can connect up the breath with the movement of the body. Finding something new each time you lift. Taking one more. Nope, just doing the downloads. Beautiful. Lower all the way down. And then if you've got your strap or your scarf or your towel, you'll extend the legs long. And you could also try this without a prop if that is more accessible right now. That's totally fine. You're going to wrap the strap around the right foot, press the foot up into the sky. And if you don't have a strap, grabbing behind the leg is Not much. Fine. He was over laying there Keep looking for you. Ground down through the extended left leg. As you pull in on the leg. See if your spine can remain flat on the mat. Ground down through the tailbone. Apologies. That was really jarring for yoga class. <sighs> Sorry about that. Okay. So if you're on the ground, leg is up. <clears throat> and then your elbows will be right at your sides. Take the strap into the right hand. Open up the leg to the right. Breathe into the space where you're feeling the stretch. <sighs> Inhale, lifting the leg back up. See if you can shift the hips so that they're level. Change hands on the strap. And then allow the leg to fall to the opposite side. Moving into a twist. Again, shoulder blades remain grounded. Breathe into the space where you're feeling the stretch. Inhale back up to center. And then you'll hug the leg in a little more. Press the foot into the strap. Press the grounded leg into the floor. You can almost imagine as if, if, if you were standing on your left foot, what this would feel like from a standing position. And then you'll reach up with the grounded leg. Foot takes the place 
of the right foot in the strap. And then your left leg will come all the way up. Ground down through the right leg, the right heel, pressing out through the left foot. Evening out the other side of the body. Flexing the foot in the strap, targeting some different muscles. And then taking the strap in the left hand, open the leg out to the left. Feel the stretch in the inner thigh, the adductor. See where you can soften the body in this stretch. And then you'll reach up with the leg, change hands on the strap, send the leg over to the right side for an opposite twist. Again, grounding through the shoulder blades. to lift all the way back up. Hug the leg in a little bit more. Ground down through the right leg. And then you can remove the strap. Place it off to the side. Maybe give yourself another stretch. You can move the arms from one corner of the mat to the other. Stretching into the side body. And then knees come up, clasp behind the thighs. You'll gently rock all the way up and we're gonna come up to a boat pose. So rock a few times along the spine. And then you'll land on your sit bones in a little bit of a V shape. So your torso is straight. Think about your spine just extending on a diagonal. And then calves can be parallel <coughs> to the floor. If you'd like, you could try extending the legs long, but for now, in order to keep the spine straight, we'll keep the legs parallel to the floor. You could stay with the hands behind the thighs just like this, holding yourself up, really drawing in using your core muscles. And if that feels okay to you, you could experiment with extending the hands long. Shoulders back away from the ears. See if you can press the legs together. Notice how that might change the position for you. We'll take two more breaths here. You may start to shake and that's okay. That just means that you're getting stronger. One more breath in and out. And then allow the feet to come down, roll forward. Hug the knees, allow the neck to relax. We'll move into a comfortable seat. If you'd like, you can keep a blanket under the sit bones. This will shift the pelvic floor down slightly, allowing for good alignment. If you've got a blanket nearby, if not, that's okay. <clears throat> Actually, I'll face this way. So from here, think about scooting to the edge of the blanket. Pelvis is just, it's about half on, half off. There's sort of like a crease in your pelvic bowl. <coughs> Roll the shoulders up toward the ears, set them down the back.
You'll inhale, lift both arms up toward the sky. Reaching up with the hands. Hands may touch or they may stay Was separated. Hurt? Was that hurt? Oh. Take a deep breath in. No, the Load the left Aww. fingertips down. Oh. Inhale up with the right until you can't go any higher. And then all you can do is go over to the side for a side bend. In your side bend, think about turning the heart up toward your ceiling. Take a little weight out of the grounded hand. Notice how that changes things. Inhale, both the arms back up, reaching up. Load down the right fingertips this time. Reach up with the left. Until you can't go anymore, and then you move into a side bend on the opposite side. Same thing here, turn the heart up toward the ceiling. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, left arm down, right arm lifts. Side bend to the first side, turning the heart open. Take the hand behind the head, move the elbow back in space. Inhale. Exhale, elbow to opposite knee. <sighs> Last time. Inhale and exhale. You can release the hand into your side bend. Come all the way back up. Float right fingertips down, left arm reaches up tall, side bending. Take the hand behind the head, move the elbow back in space. And on your next exhale, bring the elbow to the opposite knee. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Taking one more full breath in and out. Releasing the arm into the side bend. Press yourself all the way back up. You can tilt the head from one side to another. Fingers can float, pads of the fingers float on the ground as you stretch into one side of the neck. And then slowly lift, stretching to the other side of the neck. Stretch the chin down to the chest. I don't know. I am just got on for background. And if it feels okay on the neck, you can stretch the, neck, the head back. Opening through the throat. We'll end class today in a child's pose. So you'll make your way down to the bottom of your mat. If you'd like a blanket under the knees, feel free to bring one there. If you'd like a block or something under the face, taking whatever you need to make this comfortable mm -hmm. for you. Your child's pose really isn't working oh, for you today. You can okay. down to the belly. Oh, what's the going on? Knees can be wide or they can be close together. You'll inhale, no, no, rise up through the spine, anything. relax the shoulders. Mm -hmm. 
And then exhale down. Begin oh, to walk the hands drill, out though. in front of you. Showing the magazine. Stretching out. First, you can make this pretty active. That's the way I look like when I play golf. <laughs> and then drawing the palms toward the body. Relax the head. Go ahead and all the way down to the floor or a block. Yeah, so you that's could fill the space between the shoulder blades with air. That was a one-time deal. They're, they're probably going, man, I need a couple weeks off now. And then allow yourself to relax. You could take one final deep breath in and let it go out the mouth. I'm officially ruining my dinner. <laughs> and then Score! Your we don't need to have hamburgers tonight if you don't want. It's fine. See if you can focus in. Yeah, I'll just have some bread and some cheese on it again. Simply allowing the body to well, restore itself here. We can do it tomorrow night. It's just, don't worry about it. Expressing some gratitude for yourself. Don't feel bad. I'm not going to starve. Yeah. Bread and cheese was good. Yeah, I know. Okay. Thanks I'm gonna, for letting me off I'm going to have the sourdough. I like the sourdough better than the spelt. Okay, and I think I like the spelt better. The spelt's better? You said, oh, shoot, no hamburgers? <laughs> Look, there's That's still burger water. <laughs> there's burger water. Give mommy a kiss. Kiss, 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 kiss. Says, I think I'll have a uh, bread and cheese dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have swish, pavarte, and cheddar, please. So she really was looking for me when I was out. Over oh, there, always. Hmm. Wait, you're looking for mommy, weren't you? Yeah, there was. Yeah, there was. I thought she just relaxed with you. No, when I came over here, she just laid. I covered her up, and she just laid over there and looked outside, nice. just like always. She couldn't see me in the jungle over there. The jungle, the jungle. some word or intention that you'd like to take with you for the rest of today. When this is over, I'm going to watch the show. If that's all right. Well, turn it on right now. You think of that word, no, phrase, I just have it on for background noise. Intention. Draw in a deep inhale. Side out. Too nice, Drew. I'm too nice. Remember that. <laughs> Did you watch D.I.J.? I watched, started watching it.